I don't know about you, but for me, I'm always scrolling on Instagram, a little bit addicted, but I'm always saving projects or amazing inspiration photos of things I want to make. But I have a bad habit of leaving those projects in my little project to do folder and not actually accomplishing the projects myself. <laughs> bad habit, but I mean, can you blame me? Today I have decided I want to sew for me, especially after sewing for 10 hours last week making all these flower bags. I want to do like a reset. Sew for myself without the pressure of like timelines and perfectionism. And I'm going to take the project out of the project to do folder on Instagram and we are going to make them a reality. And I'm actually really excited for it. Quick little ad break for myself for my own brand. But first of all, I just want to say a huge thank you for everyone who ordered from the small flower bag restock. I feel like you snag some really good ones. Some of them are my favorite ones, actually. For everyone else who hasn't seen them yet, there's still quite a few available up on my website in lots of different fun colors and prints. So if you haven't had the chance, check it out now. The first project I want to do is making this tote bag. And now I'm someone who has two tote bags on rotation. I don't know why, I'm just way too lazy to switch out my handbags every day for my outfit. And I love a bag that I can just throw everything in. But I need something that has like a longer strap to put over my shoulder. Because the two bags now have short handles, so I always have to just like carry it. But I want something to like throw over my shoulder or when I'm cycling I can also easily wear it over my shoulder instead of hanging it off my handlebars all the time. <laughs> I saw this one on Instagram and thought it's so easy, but it was so cute in the end. So this is the video. Like, look how easy it is. Like a simple knot. Now I do have an idea that's a bit different than how she makes it, having to do with the, the knots. Also, I love her fabric. It's honestly like three seams. She adds the logo and boom, done. Like, how cute is it? Right? I feel like, why have I not made this yet? First things first, we need to figure out what fabric to use. Oh, actually, I think I have something. I have this box still full of fabrics. And I was thinking this, but I don't know if it's big enough. Oh, no, like that would just be, oh, you can't see. Up to here, yeah, no, that's a little too short, I would say. So not that. The other option is actually the striped fabric because I do have quite a bit of it. Let's do the stripes. I think it'll be sweet. It reminds me of candies for some reason. I think just because of the colors. <laughs> Okay, I need to refer to the video just to double check the measurements. I think I want to make mine a bit wider. 40 centimeters by, wait, go back. 40 centimeters by 1.6. It's quite long. Oh my goodness, I'm not good with centimeters. 40 centimeters, what is that? That's not bad, actually. Should we do 50? 40 centimeters. That's pretty big. Let's just stick to the dimension she gave us, which is 40 by 160. And then I'll show you the idea I had for the knot situation because I did want to switch that up a bit. Also, if you hear people outside, I'm really sorry, but there is a cafe and I don't think I can ask them to be a bit quieter. But I have said in a previous video, once I get to 1000 subscribers, I'm going to invest in some better audio, like a little mic or something for my phone, something maybe I wear. I don't know, there's options, but only when I get a thousand subscribers because I need to have some goals. Yeah, we're like halfway this pink stripe, so I'm gonna just cut this for a while. We got our piece. Now she doesn't say it in the video as one of the steps, but I did notice that the edges of her fabric is surged, so it's not frayed, and I do have a serger now so we can do this stuff. The edges are 
merge and I know that the next step is to find the center and then do the knot at the center. The only thing that I'm unsure about is what if the bag is heavy? I feel like the knot will just like dig into your shoulder. So then I thought, what if I make two like knot here and knot here? So like the top of your shoulder is just smooth fabric. Okay, so this is the center and I probably want to knot here. Let's see what this looks like. How does she knot it so nicely though? This does not look as nice as hers. Let's try that again. Okay, you know what? Maybe, maybe it's okay. Actually, it should be okay. The knot has like a flat bottom. So we'll just, we'll do what she did. Also, it takes up a lot more of the fabric than I anticipated. So I feel like it would just take away from the length of it. Let's not stray from the directions. That's a me problem. I'm sure she already tested it out. We got ourselves a knot. Match the edges, lay it down. 35, okay, 35 centimeters, then we do it, okay. Just gonna whip down the edge and it should be good. Now it's said to open it up the bottom and you wanna match the seams up and then sew across the bottom. Ooh, I see the vision. Well, that was the easiest project ever and took me no time at all. I'll leave the creator's name on the screen below if you want to make the same tote bag. Honestly, I think you should if you're into sewing, of course. And if you don't have a serger, it's totally fine because you can also do the zigzag stitch on your machine and just do that on the edges and it works the same. But I will show you the final reveal later. Now the next project is something that's a little bit more trendy, I would say. A hint would be my hair clip. I got this clip in Copenhagen when I went and I saw all the Danish girls wearing these like rose clips and I thought they were so sweet in their hair, a little aggressive with how big it is, but I love it. It's my new personality. Now the next photo is of one of my favorite creators, Leandra M. Cohen, and she is the founder and owner creator of Man Repeller. Now the website, a website blog, I don't really know how to describe it, is no longer around, but it was one of my favorite things ever. She's a founder and she has this big massive rosette on her blazer and I'm obsessed. Now I thought it was one rosette, so that's what I was thinking to make, but when I zoom in, it looks like it's three separate roses. Now I don't know if I actually wanna do three, because I was just envisioning doing one, but of course like making it huge. Because the thing I liked about it was the scale of it, just like how aggressively big it was. And I watched a bunch of YouTube videos. A lot of them kept gluing fabric together, like with a hot glue gun. And I just, I can't do that. A, I don't have a hot glue gun, but B, I just cannot bring myself to hot glue fabric together when I have sewing machines. I just feel like it should be sewn together. <laughs> But I'll show the video on the screen of the most recent one I watched and I thought it was the most helpful with how she actually constructed the rose part of it. Now she does like all these strips and then I don't think it's even on the bias, 90 centimeters. Okay, so I could do longer. But then she just folds it a little weird. Okay, she folds it and then she cuts it straight, I guess on an angle okay on an angle oh yeah and then she sews it down i'm just gonna fast forward it and then she just like sews it straight okay this is the fabric i was thinking to do it in it's this red lace that i had no idea what to do with but it was in that mystery box that i got i guess now several weeks ago find the selvage and i'm just gonna cut as many strips as i can i cut so many strips of 10 centimeters and I just did the whole width of the fabric. So I think for the next step, I'm just going to attach them all together. And then she does this weird 
not weird but this technique of i guess like folding the corner down and then starting to sew so it automatically creates a little bit of a ruffle oh i see it now amazing <laughs> she's hot gluing hers but i wanted to sew it first i'm going to pin this shit out of the, my rosebud because that took me a while to get and i'm gonna keep sewing the strip more i stopped sewing the strips together because i noticed that it was getting quite long and i started to do a mock-up uh just on my table to see the size and it's already bigger than my hand so <laughs> i think i made way too many strips but that means i have more for rosettes for future projects maybe so i had to figure out how to just like attach this to a base but now i'm going to just measure across just to see like how big i should make the base for it I made a base for the rose. I mean, it's not a great circle. It's a bit wonk, but whatever. It was just from scrap fabric from my red flower bag that I made. You can kind of see it behind me. Then I just fused one of the sides as well, just so it's a little bit more stiff. Now I'm going to fix the marking in the middle so I know where to put my rosebud. And then I think I'm just gonna hand tack around. I kind of understand why people use a hot glue gun. <laughs> The bud is definitely secured on the base. So now I'm just going to start spinning this thing around and hand tacking it. Officially done the rosette in my hand. My thumb is so sore because I just hand sewed this whole thing. This is the back side of it. Like, look how big it is. It's like the size of my head. You can see a little bit here. <laughs> but let's go style it and then you can see the final results. Mm -hmm.